Hey, chat room. Tell me when you can hear. Oh, you, oh, you see me? Okay, okay. And hear me too, chat roomy? You're on deck. Oh, the silent, not yet. Okay. Oh, we can. Okay, thank you. Um, I got some Hey, chat to do. room. We have this. And next week will be the last Giz Fizz in this time slot. Because Jamma B said they're doing some sort of rehearsal the following week, which is the last week of radio. So on the 17th, I'll do my radio spot, and then they're going to do something else. And then I think it's in January when it moves over to Wednesday nights after this week in Google. <laughs> hey, Roberto. That's fire. I love these little fireplace things. Demos, hey. I, I think John has had his surgery. We'll ask Burke if he can fill us in on that. He did. He's doing good. He's, he's at home recovering, and uh, he says he's doing really good. Oh, okay. Great. Great. He's not in pain. He's just kind of a lot of inflammation. And yeah, I just talked to him today. That's excellent. Yeah, let's see. Um, no, next week will be the last. Well, today and then next week will be the last Giz Fizz. Makes Myra happy because she was disappointed she wouldn't be here for the last Giz Fizz, but now she will be. Empty Pockets. I bought eight. You Which ones did you buy, Empty Pockets? The one with the clock or the simpler one? Uh, oh, yeah, Dick. I forgot to mention that he is in the chat room in disguise under a pseudonym. Jammer B. He's he's in chat? Or he was at Wait, least. Wait, uh, George is in chat? No, I'm sorry. Jammer B. Oh, Jammer B's in chat. Oh, great. But he's not, uh, he was going under a pseudonym. He's going into? He, he's using a pseudonym. Oh, okay. I not his giant okay. Jammer B. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, very might, good. There might you know, be, I might be a hip related nickname. Oh, okay. Okay. Um look for hippie hip. Hippie the hip. You know, I don't know if they work good as humidifiers. I've only had them for three days. Um, but I don't care because I just love the way they look. And I assume that they might that the water's going somewhere. But, I mean, it's not going to be like a regular humidifier where you put a half a gallon of water in it. I mean, the little guy takes 240 milliliters, which is, I don't know, what is that, like eight ounces or something? Um, so I think it'll be minimum mist, maximum image. I think it's going to be a great in the bedroom to fall asleep to. Pseudonym. Oh, pseudonym. That's funny. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dr. Mom. So, Dr. Mom, um, 240 milliliters is uh, eight ounces. Did I do my math correctly? Oh, redacted said eight ounces. Okay. Or half a cup. I have a half a cup of water in the air right here. I can feel it. Mm -mm. No, because a cup is 16 ounces, right? So 240 milliliters would be half a cup, I think. And then the big guy with the clock on it takes 400 milliliters, which is almost a cup. Cup is eight. Oh, a cup is eight? Oh, okay. 
Wow. Mr. Me- Di- no, I don't like metric. Mr. Uh, Di Bartolo, I need yes. to take my little puppy outside really quick before we start the show. Okay. Um, okay, very I will good. do this really quickly. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I meant to put you on the stream. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, Burke stepped on the wrong button. Too late. Yeah, I know. That's what I. Why are we seeing Jason? But now you see me, right? And I'm not wearing a hearing aid. Someone keeps saying, "Why do you? Why do your glasses keep slipping? Why are they slipping?" Because these go behind the ears, and they keep the glasses from slipping forward. Uh, now we see it. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, the temple grabbers. The temple grabbers. So George is going to be, George Davis is going to be chat room celebrity of the week. Oh, What? Jim Reed asked the AI oh, chat. Oh, Dick, one last thing. Uh, we're waiting for George to accept the Skype invite. Okay, George. Okay, I'll be right back. Ex- okay, George, accept the Skype invite. Okay, it should come up on your screen. Do you want to... Do you want twit? Um, yay! All right. You know, if George isn't in in chat, it's going to be his 80th birthday in three days. So everybody get ready to type happy birthday, okay? Uh, Dickie D and the Temple Grabbers. No, it's not Dickie D. It, it got bastardized to that. Up at Mad, I was called Dick D. And I use Dick D when I sign documents and stuff or hand in scripts. It says Dick D. And then someone thought I was saying Dickie D. And then someone added the D E after that. So I became Dickie D. But Dick D is it. Hey, Becky. <laughs> 80 spanks on a birthday is that some sort of an s m kind of birthday uh i think that dick d bartolo al you could be right dick d bartolo oh that's what it says now dick d bartolo was oh i like this Dick D. Bartolo was a longtime Mad Magazine writer who wrote for the magazine. What? From 1967 to 2001. Oh, this is totally screwed up. That, that is so... <laughs> My first issue was 1962 and... They already told me I'm in the February 2023 issue. And also, I didn't create Mads Monroe comic strip. And I don't do dark humor. I do satire and puns. Yeah, two weeks in a row with a chat room celebrity of the week. Can you believe that? Uh, Yeah, 80 Candles would is fire marshal territory roberto those are humidif faux fire humidifiers okay it, it's such a clever idea it uses the mist coming out of the humidifier that is lit from the bottom with orangey leds so it looks like a fire and I think Dennis is right. Dennis said he doesn't like the logo on the side. So you could turn that around. 
and then have uh, uh, um Yeah, I think they. Oh, I think it looks way better. Although the the camera tends to blow the uh, the light out a bit. Yeah, you can see the clock. The clock is very dim, but it shows up very bright on the screen. The post has me as dead. <laughs> oh my god! And if you click on. Uh, the Gizwiz visits the tech guy. I have the names of them. They're, you know, those unpronounceable names. Let me see if I have them here. Um, no, I don't even. Oh, Poo Feisty. Poo Feisty is the big one. And the little guy. Uh, I can't even find it. The little guy is Chan Hire. Chan Hire is the little guy. Okay, Dick, I'm back. I'm almost people. ready to go okay. here. How old is the puppy? She was eight weeks in, De oh my in October. God. So she's, she's like almost going on three months now. Oh, can we see her? Uh, yes. Hold on. Oh, I want to, oh my God, I love puppies. Oh, this is, yeah, puppy is pure gold, the redacted. Mike B says she's adorable. See, I thought take the puppy out to pee was code for I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I would, well, I do, I would like to go. Uh, I think I can hold it though. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, hi. Oh my God. Oh, what a sweet dog. <laughs> Look at me, Ma. I'm on television. Oh, that's great. Uh, okay, are we ready She's to get this puppy dog. going? Uh, hold on one second. Yep. George, don't forget to accept so you can be chat room celebrity of the week. Testing my buttons. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And you normally start the slate. Yep. <clears throat> Today is December 3rd, 2022. This is the old fashioned, oh, excuse me, regular old fashioned Gizwiz Fizz. Oh, let's start over. It's December 3rd, 2022. It's regular old fashioned Giz Fizz episode 504. Starting in three, two, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, the hop ladies are very low. Key. Ooh. As they drift off to heaven. All right, so on this episode of Giz Fizz. Uh, we're going to have a chat room celebrity of the week. We're going to have photos from George Davis. We're going to do logo. We're going to do match game and um, anything else that happens to come to our mind. Has George accepted his invitation yet? No, he has not. George, 
on your Skype screen, it should say, well, you know, he's, he's been on a couple of months ago, so he should be. Well, you, I, you're send, not, there's a good chance I sent the invite on a different machine, but oh, it should still okay. be, you know, show up as an invite. Oh, okay. Um, all right, George, if you're watching, I assume you are. Look on the screen to see if you have an invite. Do you accept this invite? Okay, and accept it. In the meantime, we'll start with photos sent in by George Davis. And we'll start with photo number one. New Hippie says, just call him. Would that work? It's, I am calling him. Oh, you are. Okay. Uh, okay, photo number one. A man, I assume a man, on a beach, we don't see his head, okay? Lone man on the beach. Looks like he's either been pacing or a lot of people have been walking around because there's a ton of footprints in the sand, okay? Man on beach, lots of footprints in the sand. Track his final exam, George walking on the beach, where's Waldo? You are not alone. Family Circus remake. Jamma be alone on the beach with his new hip. Look at me. I made all these footprints. Tons of invisible people. My funky design was first chat room celebrity of the week. Uh, where you see other footsteps is where we were stalking you. Oh, following in my footprints. Quicksand beware. I enjoy long walks on the beach alone. Man walking through World Cup practice field. Stop tracking my beach up. Uh, this dance is hard to do. Which one of those prints is the murderers? Everyone beamed up except me. The sands of time. I just washed these jeans. You don't know it's a man. How do I find my way back home? My job is to walk around the beach and make these footprints. And we'll end with Logan 5. This is what happens when you yell shark. Um, okay. Photo 2. Um, oh. Wow. Freshly baked bread. Even if it's not freshly baked. It's like six loaves of French bread. Oh, uh, like baguettes, maybe. Yeah, baguettes. All I need is some butter, and that's it. Oh, my gosh. George says, great, finds great food pictures. Uh, I found them in the sand. Death by gluten. Just bagged the baggers. Get the butter. That's what I say. Uh, pot baguettes, uh, cut a slice of yummy, small potatoes. I loaf this photo. Uh, let me, leave me a loaf. Just add wine and cheese. That would be good. Carbs are good for you. And don't forget the butter. French bread, all right. Where's the butter? Pick up breadsticks. Yum. Baguette time. Delicious. Who are you calling crispy? Who are you calling crusty? Sea slugs, the movie. This is what caused the stampede at the beach. <laughs> Yum, fresh from the oven, the saved baguettes. Uh, baguettes, some cheese whiz. Oh, no. Quit loafing around. Where's Jesus when you need him? Freshly bait. Uh, I loaf this picture. Hey, Bill, fancy meeting you here. And we'll end with Eric Duckman. Slice it lengthwise. Toast it over the oak fire. Dipped in garlic butter. Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. George said, for six crusty, amazing-looking loaves of baguette bread, my caption is, this is my favorite type of bread to make and better yet, to eat. Yeah. Uh, photo three. Oh, boy, a great photo. It's a train. It's a steam engine. Looks like an English steam engine. Um, and it's going through some 
<laughs> a lot of track crossings and switches, probably going into the rail yard. Steam engine coming or going into the rail yard with lots of switches about. Uh, switch in the middle. I gave up. Which way? Designed by one drunk engineer. Thomas, the train is off the track. You forgot to read George's caption for number one. Oh, you're right. Uh, I will do that. Uh, I took the wrong path. I need some amber LED lights on top. Rail workers are steaming on the right track, finally. Thomas, the tank engine, sent to his room. That's very funny. Uh, Dan, late for work. I cannot keep track of the route. Where did the footprints go? Left, right, I give up. A train confused on the tracks and on power lines. How do I connect that engine? <laughs> Becky says, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Pick a track. Which way should I go? Smoking in the boys' room, and we'll end with Black Rock. This train needs no electricity. Although there are overhead wires, I do think it's a steam train. Uh, sharing the same tracks. Okay. Uh, George said, steam train on the rails. My caption is, I was one of 20 chosen people to learn how to operate this steam engine. I'm so happy. And I did forget uh, George's caption for the the uh, man on the beach. Wow, Burke, that was fast. Uh, George's caption is, I just walked up to this beach, saw no one, turned around, and saw all these footprints. How bizarre. Okay, photo four. Oh, uh, beautiful doggy. Um, getting a snack. Doggy having a snack. <laughs> uh, redactor said, watch out, Jamma Bees. Burke's gunning for your job. Uh, Lily Foster's dog, dad, dad dog. Where's the liver snaps? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't eat my finger. Actually, the dog leg is being very gentle. Uh, it's milky bone time. Why are you wearing a sock on your human hand? Uh, don't be fooled. The fingers are going to be the snack. What a human hand looks like before eaten by the dog. Mmm, yum. Any more? Uh, I don't know where that beeping is coming from. Insert token for affection. Dog is taking over the show. Like all oh, my tongue. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Toad Sloth. Uh, please get this wide plastic thing off my neck. Ouch, that's my finger. Charlie, swipe right. Best friend for Charlie. Demos has it. We'll end with doggies are simply the best. Correct. Um, George said, for the great looking dog, my caption is Buster smelling the back of someone's hand and has gained his trust. So there's no problem from now on. Uh, okay, photo five is. You know what? This says Falkirk wheel. Is that a thing, chat room? Anybody know what that is? Whatever it is, it's. <laughs> George said photo five, Falkirk wheel. F A L K I R K. I wonder wheel. if I loaded the. Actually, there looks like there's a gear on the side of that photo. You know, you're absolutely right. It looks like those. I thought yes, at first maybe I had not loaded the right photo, but I believe yeah, this is no. the right one. But I, yeah, it, it this looks, is a hard one to describe. Yeah. It looks like some sort of uh, architectural pier or some sort or a bridge. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's a thing that when you press a button, it's motorized. <laughs> okay. And there's sort of a glass house opposite it where there's a, it looks like a sightseeing boat tied up oh, let me look at it. uh the wheel is in wales it's a canal it's a boat elevator i believe it's in denmark there's a canal at the top 
We ran out of money to build the bridge, play diving platform. It's the end of the line. What happens if you try to wind it up? Uh, James T. Kirk wheel, all aboard the Love Ferry. Dry dock begins here. Auto fish mover, a bridge not too far. Very slow catapult. Um, are you paying attention? British Canal Elevator. I've seen this, but forgot. Eric Duckman has a link to it. Uh, please don't push the button. Don't you love those Scots? And we'll end with Giz One. It's an elevator for boats. So what, th those big... I think the, it looks lake. like maybe the scoops on the right. Yeah, that I'm they thinking sort of maybe rotate that, and they maybe they put the boat into the canal that's above it in the in the yeah. it looks like a bridge. It seems pretty I guess so. It seems pretty crazy. Like maybe it picks up those that little red boat down there. Oh, that could be. Because it, that red boat is long and narrow and that thing up top. Or oh, um, oh wait, 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 wait. No. I think maybe it does. It brings that section of the bridge down into the water. The boat can drive in, it, and then it lifts that section back up and connects it with the rest of the canal. Oh, okay. Because I was just thinking, there's no way it could just scoop it out of the water. It scoops the boat. <laughs> it, it takes. It gets water in it with the boat, and then it drives out the little the other side. I guess. It's a so, boat tosser. <laughs> it seems pretty crazy. <laughs> Says redacted. It circles boats up and down. It goes from top to bottom. Uh, they use it on Evil Knievel Day. Uh, Giz once said, yes, it brings the boat to the top of that bridge. All right. Um, oh, oh, Eric Duckman said, ferric wheel means boat lift. Uh-uh-uh. Who knew? Uh, okay. George said, my caption is, oh, <laughs> George's caption explains it. This is an amazing boat lifting wheel that's located in Scotland. Um, oh, George said he sent in a little video on it. Did you get that? It's a Burke? Let me yeah, check. he said, I sent... Uh, he said, I sent in a short two-minute video about it. Uh, uh, um. Um, while you look, just put up the last photo, photo number six. And photo number six is... Wow. The world's <laughs> most dense fence. Looks like Fence panels all stacked together, but it can be whatever you want it to be. Okay. It looks like heavy duty mesh. Something like that. Uh, Matrix for Cats, the 5,000 layer chess board. I chat on my last checkup, Dr. Mom. Suburban view of Sim City. 2035 prison system. Wow. Fancy wine bottle rack. Pack NW. Uh, <laughs> Farsi said, those rabbits won't eat my flowers this year. Uh, talk about a gridlock. Oh, Ranger Rick. That's very funny. Uh, chain lick fence inventory. If MC Escher had copy paste, let's see a lawyer pass this bar exam. Best bear trap ever. That's a lot of pipe worldwide grid he sends videos but he has trouble with skype me too even a mosquito won't get through that fence while you're at it scrape the barnacles off too please i can get you this pipe for a great price it looks neat but how does it taste and we'll end with martron don't mesh with me okay george says he just calls simply calls it wire mesh. For the wire mesh, my caption is, you can crumble many types of food products with this, such as cheese, crackers, and bread. It does a great job. 
Uh, okay. So no luck getting George. I cannot find the video. That I don't hang on. This said. is uh, this is probably George. Okay. Hang on. And also no. Yeah, it's George. I've got hey, it. George. I'm, I'm put. My iPad's been ringing. I can't connect. It's been ringing all the time, but I can't connect. Is he press it? Are you pressing the answer button? Yes, I'm. I'm answering the little check mark. It says answer to connect. Okay, it doesn't do it. Can you try calling me? That same machine. At, at who? Uh, call. Don't, uh, don't use say that it machine. out loud. But yeah, call that the person that that account that invited you. Call me. Okay, I'll try to. I'll let you go. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, 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 George on call. <laughs> you know, if worse comes to worse, we can sing happy birthday over the phone. I'll have him call back. Okay. Oh, interesting facts about movies. Um, well, okay. This is really, wow. What was the first United States feature movie that showed a flushing toilet you hear me oh no that was my lg no, we hear, I'm we hear him we hear george send video i'm i'm here but i don't see nothing well hold on you should i you don't see anything because i see i hear you but uh, we don't see I'm just seeing dick that's well I'm that's seeing. that's right that's what you're supposed to see but you need to okay. send video are you going to send video I already sent that video about that bridge. No, no, no. No, no. Skype video. Uh, they, oh, where, oh, where do I hit? Um, there's a I, button down there. It looks like a camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. You and, press it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now can you see me? There we are. Yes, I see you. Hold on a second. Okay. This is strange. It didn't do this last time we did this. Well, I mean, uh, admittedly, Skype is a little odd sometimes, so. Yes. <laughs> it's not the first time we've had these issues. Okay, hold on. No, oh, I know. no. I know. And, I know. A, and a key, I hate it that before you used to be able to take your little image of you and move it around the screen and resize it. And yeah. the latest Skype, it stays where it is and you can't make it any other size. Oh. There's me big. Oh, yay. I hit my picture and made me real big. No, this is good. Okay, no. Oh, I have to sit. Here's my camera. <laughs> so I would, uh, draw, yeah, set the, yeah, set. There you go, perfect. There we go. Now you can see. Me. Hello. Oh, go. this is. I brought my buddy. My, yeah. <laughs> this is great, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a chat room celebrity of the week, George Davis. Wow! Listen to that applause. <laughs> Woody, what what is the um, Woody Woodpecker? Do you have any connection to Woody Woodpecker? No, I just uh, was one of my favorite cartoons when I was a young kid. Walter Lance cartoons. Yes, 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 absolutely. Now I don't know if how many old people would remember a, a, a dog. Uh, keep keep, uh, uh, keep sitting back, George, because okay. when when you when you sit up, there you go. We you, we lose you your face. Remember an old cartoon called Droopy. The dog? Droopy. Uh, he used to no, talk like know. this. Welcome, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. But I do. Woody, Wood, um, Woody Woodpecker. Uh, it was great. Yeah, George Lance. So, ladies Walter. and gentlemen, Walter Lance, right? Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, George Davis in three days will be 80 degrees. <laughs> no, he'll be 80 years old. And George, yay, George. Yes, George, you look fantastic. Well, you look fantastic. I feel older than I look. <laughs> no, you, you, you sound great. You look great. Now, George... I'm saving one bundle of these for Myra. George has baked. George, what are these things called again? These look on the screen. Oh, there you go. Great. 
These are called pizzelles. They're Italian, like a Christmas cookie. See it like a snowflake? Yes. And, and the Burke is going to... A little bit different. And, I made and a you make yesterday it? for myself. <laughs> oh, they're amazing. And they have a, a slightly licorice taste. Yep. Which is an anisette, is it? Anisette, yeah. Anisette, okay. And, and I, Burke... I, go ahead. No, no, you got a time delay. I have to remember that. Oh, the, 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 yeah, Burke... Um, George sent a picture of the press he uses to make these. He can only make two at a time. I got those. Hold so, on a second. Okay. Jo uh, uh, Burke is going to bring up the uh, photo of these guys. And George, while he's doing that, um, what's in the batter? Do you know what, what, can you tell us what's in them? It's just uh, flour, eggs. Uh, I put um, vanilla. And, and five drops of the anisette. That's all? That's it. Flour. All and, right. And, uh, so, so, George, oh, you have to have and, a... And butter. Melted oh, butter. butter. Oh, butter. Oh, yeah, and okay. That kind of holds it all together. Yeah. So, George, is that the only thing you can make in that appliance? Are these things? Yes. I've been, I've been eating... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been... I've been eating mine. Now, um, have you put them in the oven, a toaster oven, to kind of make them more crunchy, or are they fine the way they are? They're fine, although uh, for laughs, I gave one of them 10 seconds of heat in the microwave so that you can eat them warm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've yet put a drop of jelly on them. I assume they'll be astounding with jelly. But uh, I've eaten the first six just, just <laughs> out of... Out of these, uh, George sent four stacks of them, each one individually wrapped. Um, and and how long does it take from the time you start mixing the batter to to cranking them out? That whole batch that I sent you took about an hour's time. You mix up the batter and you just put the, a little bit of dough in the press and just wait about a minute or so for each batch to come out and when you say a batch how many is that um the batch i made you is a double batch it's probably 48 of them no no i mean how many can the thing take at one time the oh, the, two. the two oh okay you have to do two yeah, at a on time each side one on each side of the machine oh, okay okay uh, okay um all right well george um can I ask if the chat room has any questions for you before we let sure. you go? Sure. Okay, so chat room, share <laughs> share some with the audience. Merce Angel, George Foreman of Waffle Cookers, my <laughs> father-in-law, my father-in-law is Belgium, and he there, calls them Pizzelli. They have a machine that does four at a time. Two That's at a the time. George yeah, That's no, the someone in the chat room says they have a machine that does four. Wow. Well, yeah. That is yeah, there's amazing. There's one that does four, but they're smaller circle ones. Oh, okay. They're about half the size. Someone in the chat room said that you take great photos. Thank you. It's my iPad um, that does the photos. <laughs> And George, you're gonna you're gonna continue doing photos and fun facts when we move to Wednesday. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. This is good. What's what is the picture in the background? Someone is asking. Um, a friend of Kathy's, the girl I live with, uh, painted that picture. It's, it's I don't know. It's about four feet tall, and I don't. I'll hold it up. No, that's okay. We, we can see it. Oh, I. But you can see it bigger, oh, or this way. Is it, cl it? Does it? Is it clouds, or it's whatever no, you want it to be? No, just right? a kind of a abstract, abstract thing. Well, I'm, it's hard to tell when I move my iPad. It's it's opposite it shows up on the screen. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's that's beautiful. great. And the Kathy, the girl I live with right now, is up in Pasadena. 
she belongs to the Elks, and this year they have a float in the Elks, and they're starting to put all the stuff on the float right now, all the dry stuff that they can put on. And then towards the end, closer to the parade, they get the live flowers to be put on. Are you, are, do you go up there for that? No, I don't. You don't go up? Okay. She goes up and volunteers and puts on the, the flowers. And she's the one helping, coordinating everybody that volunteers to put the flowers on the, on the float. Oh, okay. Is it is it televised or on the internet? Oh yeah, the Rose Parade on on. Oh, uh, it's oh the Rose Parade. Oh okay. Parade, oh yeah. yeah, that's a that's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, it is the Rose Parade, Brian W. Gonna be over here. Uh, all right, one more question for George, and then we'll get back to his fun facts. Where do you live? Oh, I guess where do you live? Remind I live in people. Santa Monica. Okay. California. Yeah. Are I'm you near? A, I was going to say you near the beach. Yeah, I'm about what takes me about six blocks. I have to go six blocks south and then two blocks to the beach. I'm and what body of water is that? Camp. What what body of water is that that you walk Pacific to? Pacific Ocean. Oh my God! Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, Santa Monica yeah. is just south of Los Angeles. It's kind of the they're right next to each other. Santa Monica. Oh, right okay. on the beach. That's great. That's I live great. about uh, two miles from that Santa Monica Pier, where they have all. The oh places. yes, that, that's very famous. <laughs> yes, that's great. George, are you doing anything special for your birthday? Um. Some friends and I are going out for my birthday. They're taking me to dinner. And my one of my friends just had a birthday on the 1st, so we took him to his birthday. Oh, okay. So you all get drunk and throw things around, or are you beyond all that? Well, I don't I don't drink. And the day oh, you they don't? have okay. a favorite drink, that's fine. Okay. But uh, I haven't had any drinks since when I was in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you should have some water at least. Oh, I I have a thing. What, what I get from Walmart, it's iced tea peach. <laughs> a little, a little packet tea. of a uh, thing makes half a gallon, one of these full. And it's oh, okay. real cheap to make. You just put cold water in. It makes one packet, fills that jug up. That's good. Very healthy. No, no sugar in it at all. No, it's great. Now, how well, do these, George, do these taste? These don't taste too sweet, do they? No, I think they're, they're great. Cool. Myra will like them. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, I think they're great. She better get here by next Saturday. If she's not here yeah. next Saturday, there's yeah. going to be none left. Myra, Dick's going to eat these all up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, next Saturday will be the last Giz Fizz. Of this season, oh, uh, and then uh, and then we start again in January on Wednesdays. It's the um, first Wednesday in January. Uh, I think it's January fourth or eighth, no, eight. like the eighth or something. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, something like that. All right, George. Thank you so much, George. Thank you for all you've done all yeah. these years. You're amazing. Can I thank the chat room, everybody in the chat room? Thank you so much for giving us such great answers for the uh, these captions. I I enjoy making them or sending them to Dick, and it's you guys that give us the good answers. So thank you, thank you so much. Well, we we thank you for being. You know, it's like you need to have the pictures and the fun yeah. facts to yeah. be able to do the answers. So thank yeah. you. George, go ahead. Go ahead. You. No, I, you go ahead. Oh, you're all done. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was George Davis, and we'll see him in the new year at our new time, but the same old show. Same old okay, show. Okay, that was that was great. That was great. I'm so glad it worked out that we did got to see Did you find a picture him. of that floating bridge? Or that oh, did you? bridge? I don't think you sent it, George. I don't have a video. 
Oh, okay. I send it. I can send another one right now. Then you could, if you got time later on the show. Yes, yeah, send it, send it, and then do. we'll we, we we can do it at the end of fun facts. Okay. Okay. Uh, chat room. Let's go back to the question first. The United States feature that featured a flushing toilet. I don't think we got to do the answers when we joined George live. Huh? Um, psycho gone with the wind bedtime for bonds gone with the wind <laughs> it's interesting uh back to the future archie bunker was that a movie rebel without toilet paper <laughs> tidy bowl oh, tours i don't want to see that one trip. no married with children movie movie Uncle Buck, the night at the opera. Uh, bedtime for Bonzo. Burke, any vague idea? First feature film to have a toilet flush in it? Man, Reefer Madness? No, the, uh, some people in the chat room were right, not soy and green. It was indeed Psycho. Psycho. Oh, I wish I had that sound effect. Yeah. After the movie Ratatouille was released about mice, one pet store sales of rats went up by how much percent? I'm not quite sure I get the connection. After the Ratatouille was released about mice, one pet store sales of rats went up by what percentage? Um, because the rats would have chased the mice away? Read it one more time. Yeah. After the movie Ratatouille was released about mice, one pet store oh, sales of, of rats went up by what percentage? Ratatouille, uh, he was a mouse, right? Or was he a rat? I don't know. I think he was a rat, maybe. Or maybe a mouse pretending to be a rat. I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, rats. Okay. Oh, Ratatouille. Okay, I got it. All right. So that makes more sense. People loved the rat movie. Sales went up by what percent? Um, boy, we're all over the lot. And I got a, a, a guess, Burke. People saw the movie, I guess, one of the rat. 400%. 400% is dead wrong. The answer is... We should, ask, we should ask our guest who's still here. Oh, George wrote the question. <laughs> oh, so oh, okay. Well, he, then he's cheating then. We can't ask him. Oh, no. Okay. Um... 50%. I think I saw a couple of 50% go by. Um, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> because asbestos flakes look so much like snow, they were used in Europe and America in movies in winter decorations. One famous movie that we know of where they were used was released in 1939. And... What was the name of that movie? Wow. Asbestos looks like snow. They were used in movies in winter as decorations. What American film were they used in in 1939? Wizard of Oz, Bright Christmas. <laughs> Wizard of Lung Cancer, A Cancer Carol, Holiday Inn. Wonderful Life with Another Wizard of Cancer, White Christmas, A Winter Cancer Story. <laughs> um, it's Not Such a Wonderful Life. Wizard of Oz for the Poison Field. That must have been terrible. I remember in an interview, Van Johnson said it was horrendous because they were using asbestos. It was a war movie where they were battling in winter 
and they had this asbestos blowing around. Uh, any idea what movie it might be, Mr. Burke? Um, I don't, but my guess was going to be A Wonderful Life. Okay, it is Wizard of Oz. Many uh, correct answers there. And the final question in the movie Up, they calculated how many actual balloons would be needed to lift that house. How many balloons would it take to lift a house? If you remember the movie, the house has a billion balloons on it. Oh, I just said that. Oh, that's, that'll be my answer. <laughs> my answer is a billion. One really big balloon says redacted. Uh, in the movie Up, a house gets lifted into the sky. How many balloons would it take to lift a house? I know this is kind of hard. Get anywhere near it. Four million, three Zeppelins, a billion, three million, one hundred and forty one thousand. <laughs> Weather balloons or party balloons? I don't know. Um, impossible to answer, but someone is very, very close. Uh, Burke, you want to take a shot at it? 100,000 balloons. Okay. Someone said, um, anyway, the answer is 31 million, 150,000. Oh, that wasn't even close. <laughs> 310. George ends with have a great time. Wait, it's very specific. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And and one of them had said happy birthday on it. Um, had a grand time. I hope you did as well. Wishing all of you the best of times during this holiday season. See you next time we get together. Bye, George. George, thank you. You'll be doing this one more time, George, <clears throat> for Bye, next George. week's show. Bye, Bye, George. Oh, yeah. Thanks. For, thank you. I'm going to send that video for you right now. Okay. Thank you. Merry okay. Christmas. Check, your, check your email. Oh, my God. These things are so good. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to eat on camera. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, why not? Every answer has something to do with salt. Brand of salt that uses a girl with an umbrella. Brand of salt that uses girl with umbrella. Oh my, okay. Well, there's no... <laughs> wow. Do you know, Burke? I do know. Okay, so does the chat room. It is indeed very a very easy question. Morton's salt, <laughs> not Mormon. Morton. No, no, Morton. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the father of which spoiled brat orders his staff to open thousands of Wonka bars? I would not know this at all. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the father of which spoiled brat orders his staff to open thousands of wonky bars? The girl, salty dog. Uh, any vague idea, Burke? I, th I think I know exactly the answer. Oh, okay. I believe, what's your answer? I believe it to be the horrible girl, Veruca Salt. It is indeed. That was very was good. It's a, That's an easy to remember name. A <laughs> lot lots, of it's like a chat room uh, knew it too. A lot of people in the chat room knew it. In which city is the NBA team? Named after a music genre based. In which city is the NBA team 
named after a music genre based Any idea, Burke? Uh, I don't. I'm not much help on the wow. sports questions. Wow. No, me either, but... I think someone had it, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, people have... have wow. Trex TX has the whole answer. Oh. Part, part one of the answer is Salt Lake City, and part two of the answer is Utah Jazz. Now, now is that because so, the team in Salt Lake City is the Utah Jazz? Yes. Oh, wait. Well, that would make sense, actually, now I think about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Oh. Chat room, get ready for a slew of correct answers. Famous kind of candy you get in Atlantic City. Famous kind of candy you so get easy. in Atlantic City. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> okay. J286, that's all what a taffy does not have any salt water in it. I believe that is correct. In, in uh, it's it's sewer water taffy and salt in there, I think. <laughs> I, I've heard. Oh I've my heard. god. Clean oh water. Oh my there. god. It is indeed salt water taffy. This is great fun. Uh, um wow, the time is flying by. We'll do one more logo. Oh, wait a minute. Um uh, let me see. We do the, what year? With cigarettes, the first year cigarettes were sold in packs. What year? This is, I'm not saying you're stupid. In what year were cigarettes first sold in packs? Versus pouch, I would assume. Yeah, for yeah. yes. Sold as individual cigarettes. Uh wow, I have no idea. Um I'm gonna do nineteen thirty two is my guess. Burke, you got a, a guess? 25, 1925. 1925. I, mean, All right, I, I know it's probably somewhere before, oh my before the God. 40s. Why? Let me look up. BlackRock, dead on. Pack and W off by a year. I did, uh, those are the only ones I have up on the screen right now. 1913 was the birth of modern cigarettes sold in packs. Oh, here's an interesting. So I have I've not looked in probably two years, but I'm just going to use the figure from two years ago. Um, how much do you think a pack of cigarettes cost in New York City? How much do you think a pack of cigarettes cost in New York City? <laughs> and I'm in a leg. Oh, these guesses are very good. These guesses are very good. So I'm, um, as I said, I. I haven't seen a recent price, but three years ago, only because <laughs> I saw a sign in the window. It was like a sale. They were three years ago. It was $13 a pack. Three years ago. Three years ago. That would mean a cotton would be 130 bucks, right? That's Isn't it 10 right. packs in a cotton? Holy My cow. My guess is was going to be 15, but it sounds like it was a little Probably a 15 little bucks. Now. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll 
you are. Uh, um, let me see. Is there one more in this card? Oh, what year did Holly Davidson start producing motorcycles? Oh, you're you're a biker, right, Burke? Uh, yes, I I have I am a motorcycle rider. Haven't, Do you have I, a Holly Davidson? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I ride Japanese bikes. Oh, okay. What year was Harley Davidson start selling their motorcycles? Wow! Holy cow! These answers skew way old. Holy wow! I feel some of them are way off, but way well, okay. What's your guess, Burke? So I did, I know that they had them probably. I think it's pre World War Two, so I'm thinking maybe nineteen like thirty ish eh, or early. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go a tiny bit early, only because I think I wanted to old... say World War One, but they I think I know where the Indians were around a lot. They were yeah. around before Harley Davidson, but. Yeah, uh, I, I'm going to go with 1928 only because silent movies always had the Keystone cops crashing motorcycles and driving motorcycles off docks. Right, and I think those are probably well. I don't know. I don't know if those were Indians or Harleys, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. But oh wow, I am way wrong, Loke. You're pretty close with 1900. Uh, it is 1903. Wow. Holly Davidson, right. 1903. Cartoon Steve. Oh, 1920. Okay. Loke, very good. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, do you know how to get hold of Alex? Burke? I do, and I have his camera. I, I don't see him, but maybe he's there. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to get Dennis down oh, here. Oh, we'll I see it. It's, it's oh, moving. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Alex. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And one Speak, more. Speak, Alex. Yeah. Make noise. I don't hear you. Okay. Let me mute myself. Uh, ah, there we go. Now we hear you. Okay. Hello, Alex. Dun, bum, bum. Okay. Uh, uh mm, mm. Oh, dumb Donald was so dumb. Just how dumb was he? Yeah, that. thank you. Dumb Donald was so dumb, he went to blank to buy an Apple computer. Thinking music, please. Dumb Donald was so dumb. There we go. Dumb Donald was so dumb, he went to blank to buy an Apple computer. Uh, uh, orchard, Washington, the orchard, grocery store, Washington, the poor house, Apple Valley, grocery store, farmer's market, and Sarah Lee Pie Factory. The Google Store. Oh, that's a modern dumb Donald. Applebee's. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Alex, we're going to start with you. Dumb Donald was so dumb, he went to blank to buy an Apple computer. Watch it. A lot of matches. He gets a ding. Got a ding for Alex? I'm looking for it. It's missing on the soundboard. I only have this one. <laughs> oh, that's the bad one. I know. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll give you that. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. It's a, um, that's a correct answer, Alex. Uh, that's the incorrect answer. I know. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I can do the, this. It's the incorrect sound for the correct answer. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, Burke, your answer was Dumb Donald was so dumb he went to blank for an Apple computer. <sighs> the hat factory. 
Yeah. The hat factory? Exactly. Yes, exactly. That's my okay. answer that uh, makes no sense. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, I <laughs> give yourself the buzzer. <laughs> Thank you. That was well deserved. I got a lot of matches. Went to the fruit stand. Um let me see what this is. Oh, okay. Uh, fruit stand, get some of them. I hear Dennis coming down. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, you know what? I'm okay, going to put the I, camera down I, later. I have something for a correct answer now. It's this. That's the closest I can get. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, did George's uh, video come through? I have it. Hopefully okay, good. it will not uh, take down the stream. In, in what way? It's a video on YouTube, but you know, okay. you know how that goes sometimes. So, like, oh, okay, about right. Okay. So, let's so do you want to not play it just in case? No, I could play it without. Well, I guess if we played it without audio, we wouldn't really benefit from the explanation. Well, we could probably see what it does. Okay. Well, let's try this. Let's try that. This is okay. The cook wheel. And. It's play it, edit out later. Uh, Hold on a second. Oh, canal boats. That's okay. Oh yeah, it's it's in, we can see it in action. Yeah. So canal boats are normally like New York canal boats the New York state canal system, they're very long and very narrow. Wow. So that's why that, that photo didn't really platform. do it justice. Oh, here. Wow. Oh, looks like it's not too fast either. <laughs> no, but cool. Well, it looks like a boatload of people in there. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to switch this away from it. We don't want this taken down. You can never know. Oh, it's move. It does move very slowly. It looks like it takes one up at, when it takes one down. And yeah, yeah, cool. Whoa, wow! That's quite the engineering solution. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Holy cow! Yeah, I. You never went up through the Erie Canal with us, right? Oh, I swim. <laughs> wow. Um, I took my boat up to Canada, a boat, not, not, um, and we went through the Erie Canal, and then to get to Canada, I don't know, there's some major canal, and the, the guy said, well, we normally just take ships, but you want to go through? I said, it'd be fun. And he said, all right, dock in behind that ship. But be careful when he starts his props up. When when we get to the level, we, you know, you start down low, and this is going up to the next level. Um, so it was great. And when we got to the top, and that ship started its engines, I was in full forward gear with my boat to, to keep from being sent back into the doors of the lock. It was scary. Scary. It was eerie. <laughs> That's why they call it the Erie Canal, because little boats. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Harvey said, working at home is really hard for me because I'm a blank. Harvey said, working at home is really hard for me because I'm a blank. <laughs> I'm having an okay. awful time with the sound effects this week. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I figured, Bobby it, I said, figured it out. Working at home is really hard for me because I'm a blank. Hobo, astronaut, there you go. Astronaut's great. Uh, skydiver, chimney sweep. Tree trimmer, fireman, bus driver. These are good. Well, how come no one matched me? I can't believe it. 
Really Awesomeness Mortician is very good. Scuba Dive is good. Well, I am astounded. No one door-to-door -door salesman. Oh, that's very funny when you think of it. Oh, thank Lumpy. Lumpy, thank you. Avi said, these days of working at home is really difficult for me because I'm a pilot. Uh, you said you had a match thing, didn't you? Okay. Dennis, you said... I didn't get any matches either. I thought I had loads of matches. Oh, yeah. I thought that would have been too. I'm a fisherman. No matches. Okay, Charlie, you're in a few minutes. Okay. Alex, you said, very difficult for me to work at home because I'm a... <laughs> I'm a gigolo. That's very funny. Oh, did he get some matches? Okay. No. Um, and Burke, you said, hard for me to work at home because I'm a... Bus driver. Bus, okay, I think you got some matches. If not, you should, because that's it. <laughs> doesn't say, have the quite same pizzazz as... A, no, it, it really doesn't. I have to, I have to relocate that sound effect. <laughs> um, Larry said... This is, it's, 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 I'm going to do a different one. Um, oh, dumb Donald was so dumb. How dumb was he? He was so dumb he thought you needed four blanks to listen to quadraphonic sound. That's how old this question is. Dumb Donald was so dumb he thought you needed four blanks to listen to quadraphonic sound. There is going to be a lot of matches. This this was obviously a tiebreaker. We had tie break is when the panel would not match on anything. Um, what? Four record players, four speakers, four square. Oh, finally. Oh, my God. Four ear pods. Um, okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Uh, Dum Donald was so dumb he thought you needed four blanks to listen to quadraphonic sound. Yes! Ears! Got <laughs> yeah, it's better when there's more than one quack. Uh, Burke. Um, Dum Donald was so dumb he thought you needed four blanks to listen to quadraphonic sound. Four bands? Oh, Dan uh, Doku said four bands. Yeah. Um, I matched Alex. You needed four ears. <laughs> and Dennis said, don't let the duck out of the studio. Four ears. Uh, okay. Uh, chat room. It's time for, I'm going to take, um, <laughs> oh, that sound quacks me up. Oh, that's very, that's very <laughs> funny. Um, George, I'm going to put my, 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 uh, camera down so we can see Charlie and what Charlie thinks of your cookies. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie, the dog going to be a little wonky here while I undo this camera. Uh, uh, um. Let me, uh, Charlie. Dennis, you want to? Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> one more. One more, Charlie. One more little piece. Actually, give me, uh, is there one more little piece? I, I got it. Charlie, come face the camera. Hang on. Charlie. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. 
Look at that. Are there any crumbs left? Are there any crumbs left? <laughs> Even with no crumbs. Look at that tail. That so wags a lot. <laughs> wow. All right, Charlie. That was it. That was it, Charlie. That was your appearance. Uh, sorry for this. We do not have the luxury of a switcher here. Uh, this was great fun. So next week, the last uh, Giz Fizz of the current year. Okay. Um, and Myra will be here. And then uh, we'll be back in January with Giz Fizz. Um, starting, I think, January 8th. But we'll let you know next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Hop, hop ladies are on vacation. I have to switch to the other one. We have the harp sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> ladies on, and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Regular old-fashioned Giz. This has been regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Uh, ladies, you're not getting paid this week. That was dreadful. Um, Old Fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Beatmaster, Bargain Basement Burke, Jammer B, Valve, Jim Tez, Cartoon Steve, Burn Tech, Scooter X, Black Rock, Becky, Ranger Rick, Bill in Michigan, ZX, Giz One. Dale Paco, Stooge, Roberto Hellman, Caesar. Where's the music? Okaroo, Pac NW, Geek Wannabe. There we go. That's the, is that the right music? Tupelo Steve, Adam 24. And it's the new hippie, Dan Duku, Logan 5, and Jim Reed. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not for it's just not for turtles anymore george you too and happy birthday george that was great seeing you on camera and george thank you for these they are delicious burke thank you so much okay you're welcome burke, thank you the sound effects thanks. okay and everything else. you have you have all week to practice I'll need it. <laughs> um, all right, chat room. We'll see you next week. Bye, Alex. And we'll Alex, thank you. Thanks, guys. I'll see you. Yeah, next you look week good. Happy birthday, okay. George. Yes. Merry yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Alex, you know about Gizwiz, uh, Giz Fizz's stopping next week? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm starting uh, up in we'll, January. We'll talk next week. I hope to be able to continue if I can. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. As Redacted said, Turtle Wax, it's not just for Jammer B's hip anymore. Okay. Jammer B, I believe you're in chat under a strange name. Uh, God bless you, and I hope you're healing fast. Okay, bye. I, I, I think Burke is going to trip Jammer B so the hip gets knocked out of place. No comment. It depends he, how nice he, he is. <laughs> <laughs> See, no comment. I would be very worried, Jim would be. Okay. Bye. We're going to dinner. Bye-bye. <laughs>